If you need the water, check the beaches in the Carolina. If you need the mountains, try the Appalachian Trail. If you need me, 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 I'll be in Kansas City. Welcome to Kansas City Limits Radio, KCLR. This rolls right off my tongue, doesn't it? It's, it's nice. Um, we are back here, uh, myself and Robert Bierce, uh, for our KCLR podcast. This podcast is sponsored by Kansas City Limits, Kansas City RVs, Briarcliff Business Partners Alliance. You right? nailed it. That's I right. Briarfest coming up September Briar 8th. Briarfest 8. Yeah. And of course, uh, Soundworks. Recording Studios right here in Blue Springs, where we are. Uh, today, Wonderful. our guest is David Marshall. Welcome to the show, David. Hey, thank you. Glad to be here. We are glad you're here. Um, I was going to kind of let everybody know uh, what we were just talking about is uh, uh, how, well, when I sent out a calendar of dates, I sent it to... Uh, Teresa Deaton at TNT Band, and who we will be featuring uh, in July with Kansas City Limits yes. over at the uh, Shriners. But um, she immediately hit me back and said, you got to get this guy on there. I'm like, who is this dude? I don't know this dude. And so <laughs> it wasn't- We had go, is there a favor involved here? What's going on? Is he good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How much money is involved in this? So, and he's good. Yeah. And so- uh, then she reminded me that uh, one of the Vivo shows that I was at uh, and that we discussed yeah. is where I, I first saw you play. Um, but I wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, we gave her a plug. She's definitely a great musician here in Kansas City, but uh, she is a big fan of yours, that's for sure. So why don't you give us a real quick how you know uh, Teresa and, and, and what – that relationship is uh i met her through um when i was playing with vantage point terry wood um i drummed for vantage point for a long time and then they uh they kind of shifted gears and uh, terry kind of created this new group with Teresa, and they were doing a like a duo thing and they decided they wanted to go full band with it so they approached me and a couple others and you know you want to get together and make this happen so we did and uh, for, I don't know, five or six years now we've been doing that. I've um, recently kind of had to pull out of it a little bit because I've started the solo thing and it's getting pretty busy. And I play with um, Patrick Lentz Entertainment and uh, I'm pretty busy with those guys. Um, but yeah, we've been performing together for a long time, played drums for him for a long time and then switched over to guitar and then uh, brought a couple of more friends in. So now it's kind of a big a big group of musicians and sure. we just get out there and make it happen. Um and she started doing quite a bit of booking and promotion and stuff like that. And she asked me if I would like for her to do that for me. And I don't like to book. So I said, yes, <laughs> I got many other things happening. I'd rather work on, you know, writing and sure. practicing. And you got to have one of those. Yeah. So she, uh, she takes good care of me. Okay. Um, we'll jump right in here we've got uh some information from you that you provided to us thank you for that um we're mm -hmm. gonna go ahead and uh let robert jump in here and and we'll go through some questions and you kind of plug that a little bit and okay. and then we'll move along to uh letting you play a little little music for us today right on cool david i just uh, started checking you out to be honest you, now you mentioned you played you went from drums to guitar yeah so was that an easy transformation, or were you already playing guitar before you started doing drums? Actually, it goes back to when I was a wee young lad. A wee young lad. <laughs> um, <laughs> I started on drums, actually. I was, I don't know, eight or nine, somewhere around there. Okay. And, um, and around 10 or so, I got a guitar and started to learn how to play guitar. And 
being a drummer first kind of helped me with guitar because you know the rhythm the side of things yeah, and all that yeah um and i spent a lot a lot a lot of time on guitar and then um actually when i when I, I lived in a small town lived in baser kansas and the uh they started a jazz band the new band director and uh they needed a bass player and he was a bass player and a trombone player for a reggae band so he said well you all mind you play guitar so you're you're halfway there but i'm going to teach you how to play bass like a bass player right so on. we uh we spent some time together and he he taught me how to play bass like a bass player and uh that's where i ended up in the world of bass and okay. then later on i kind of picked up some fun stuff like harmonica and uh you know it was one of them little things that i was like hey cool i've always wanted to try that so i'll do that and play a little piano now you got that. music in your family or people around you from your past and your family musical? Um, not the immediate family actually um i guess well my grandma she played organ at the church cool and, and uh sang the choir and and um i've got a couple of like extended family members that were into it but my my uncle john actually got me into guitar he had a, a guitar and when he was trying to learn and you know he brought it over and and i picked it up and i was like "Ooh, this is cool you know let me give you that shot and he noticed that i was actually able to do a couple of things on it so he showed me some stuff and then um Smoke my folks on the water yeah that was one of them actually the, <laughs> the very first one i learned was sister golden hair oh nice oh, okay. yeah that's yeah. a good one yeah um cool. and he uh so yeah after showing me that stuff my my uncle frank also played guitar and he had guitars sitting around at his house so i played his when i went over there right on um so my dad got me some lessons at uh, brady and sons when that was around and um i did that for a little while and, and just kind of got out of it and eventually started just teaching myself by ear and all that and then i got to high school and got pretty serious about learning how to read and, and that sort of thing and learning theory and all the things that one so you've immersed yourself in it yeah He's that's a awesome music man that's awesome so, and yeah, so that's kind of my how I got started and all that. So you, you you've got an album coming up, but have you done some albums before? Is this like your EP, your LP? What what is this in the sequence of your recording life? Uh, it's kind of funny because for years in the KC scene, I've written quite a bit of stuff, and uh, the the first endeavor was with uh, County Road Five years okay. ago. And me and Dusty Sharp started that when we were in high school, and um, it kind of continued and. Um, I ended up writing a couple albums for, for that group and we played together and we did the touring thing and we, you know, did the opening act stuff and all that. And some of those songs made it to some local radio stations and cool. even some of the FM stations and some of the towns we played in. Great. Um, for last, last count, I heard it was like six states, something like that, that those songs made it on the air with. That, that um, went out. Yeah. And then um, later on, I wrote some new stuff and we were going to... Uh, record that stuff and then we had a, a friend of ours named scott peary that said uh, he was looking for a group so we ended up kind of connected with him once we left county road and um we i wrote some tunes and then we co-wrote some tunes and then put together to an album together for him okay and then uh, how long ago was that oh that was uh 2012 i think somewhere around there so will this be your first solo kind of project of just about you for a change and yeah. what you're doing, putting yeah. together? So <laughs> yeah. this could almost be, this is like your freshman Marshall album. Yeah. 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 Okay, cool. Yeah, and that's kind of how I arrived there was, I was like, man, I've written these tunes and had everybody else record them. I never sure, what the heck myself. are you waiting for? So why don't I just do that? That's great. And That's um, great. You know, I got a really good, supportive group of people around me that were like, yeah, you really need to do that. And I had played a, a lot of the original songs that I had written that hadn't been recorded at some of these um, gigs that I did with um, several guys in the KC scene. And they're like, man, why don't you record those? Those are good. <laughs> well, let's talk yeah. about that. The the new material that's coming out. What's, mm -hmm. you know, where, where's that come from? What What is the... What kind of sound are you going to lay down? Yeah, what are you looking for there? Uh, I'm kind of in that, like... I guess I would describe it as like Americana and, and almost like a red dirt, but um, a little less aggressive than the, it's not as rock oriented as that stuff is. It's kind of mellow, but it's, you know, it's got steel guitar in it and, and uh, some kind of neat. I always kind of say that it's kind of like Lord Heron and okay. um, yeah, um, maybe like a Tom Petty ish kind of thing. Okay. Smashed together. It's so I tried to, take a little bit different approach with 
with writing and I got together with Micah Burdick actually and and um, uh, Matt Russo and we started working on some stuff together. Mike and I kind of realized we have a, a good chemistry so we started writing together and he, he's been helping me along this journey. Helps when you have the chemistry, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And it was, I wanted to take a completely different approach to it this time because before it was like, you know, we had the band and you write the songs and you have the band record it because it's got to be the band on the on the album that shows up live and plays the shows. And I was like, man, I just want to do something different this time. And I want studio guys to just take care of it. And I actually um, didn't play any instruments on it on purpose. Oh, nice. So all I did was... Where, where'd you guys record? Uh, we recorded at uh, Matt Russo's place. Oh, okay. And um, he uh, he's a, a great engineer, and he knows a whole bunch of people so he could kind of bring the right pieces together because I just kind of described what it was I wanted. And um, he had a, a whole stable of really excellent players. You can just focus on the words. Yeah. So I and, uh, I was part of the production of because I knew, you know, kind of where I wanted it to go, but I gave those guys free reign to to do what He's they do. He's talking your language there, Robert. Yeah. You uh, know, Robert's I mean, a singer songwriter here yeah. in town as well. Uh -huh. So it, it, it's a lot of fun. You know, the, the, the best thing about it is, uh, it's something you're making. Yeah. It, it's something that's forever. Yeah. It's something that nobody can take away. Even if it's not the best thing that anyone could ever hear, it's the best thing that you got that's coming out of your soul and it just feels so damn good, you yeah, know? Yeah, I absolutely. mean, and, and, and if, and if you're writing like that, it, the rest of it's just the, the icing on the cake. If someone else digs it, well, you know, high five yourself, you know, wow. so highlight yeah. that shit right there. Yeah. Andy. I mean, you got, you got, to you, you got to write for yourself before you write for someone else. There's a lot of people that take so many different angles, but it, it, you're in the right space right now in your life. Because a lot of what you've done up until now is getting you to put down what you're getting ready to do, which is going to be great. Yeah, and um, I'm excited about getting it out there. And I've had some people play on it that are just phenomenal. Um, actually, had Phil Vandal on one of them, and Phil and I had played together for years. And wow. And uh, but you know, let, let's talk about where you played some shows and, and, and spaces you filled. Where now you mentioned just here in the Midwest. What what's been your best show, big or small, that you you've loved playing and performing maybe in the last year or so? Um, as a solo guy, um, shoot, the I would say the the most fun thing that I've done recently is um, I went out to Herman, Missouri. So uh, Teresa and and our friend Stephanie are connected out there so okay they set up um, every weekend for me the first month or the first weekend of every month from now till october and i'm at uh, 10 mill and hermanhoff so you're and, playing why people are enjoying the libations and yeah and yeah. it's it's a really neat little town and a really neat mix of people because you have you know locals that are into that really um, interesting singer songwriter kind of thing so i can just sit and play with you know kind of that side of myself and then um, then you have the, the party people that come in and, and I've got, you know, I do the, the loop station thing and all kinds of fun stuff. And I call it the, the party in the box. So I'll, I'll break out the party in the box for the well, kind of last wine hour. in the box. Yeah. And they, they get kind of crazy <laughs> and we dance and sing and have a good time. Together. You said that was the tin roof in the, the, the tin mill, tin mill where in uh, Herman, Missouri, Herman, it's Missouri a, a wine bar, right? Um, Ten Mill is a brewery, and okay. then uh, Herman Hoff is the winery. Gotcha, Herman. And they're yeah. they're owned kind of by the same group. Yeah, they're yeah, fantastic yeah. people. I, and they've got I, great I love Herman. It's a great place. Mm -hmm. I'd love to have them at Briar Fest. Yeah. Yeah. Share that with them. All right, huh? yeah, I'll yeah, do yeah. that. <laughs> pour their beer there. Um, the wines there. And then I've got a, a weekly gig that I do at Veritas um, out in Prairie Fire. It's 135th and all. Very cool. Um, 5:30 to 8:30 Where? every Tuesday. Veritas. Yeah, it's out in um, by yeah. Prairie Fire. I yeah, mean, I'm, I'm familiar with. But they do pinstripes. Has got that Thursday gig out there, right? Yeah. Where's Veritas from there? Um, it's kind of like two doors down, like right across the street and two doors down. Gotcha. And um, it's um, indoors, outdoors. They've got both. They've got an inside area and outside area, and um, so I'll play kind of depending on weather. And and these are your solo gigs, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. So. When is the when when's the album drop? When when is that coming out? Uh, I'm gonna kind of I had to really think about this because I'm like it's so much different now than it was. Like we used to put together an album, we'd go out and pound the pavement and play the shows and sell CDs and 
you say CD now, people look at you stupid. Like, but <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Right. Um, We're so still I, selling them, though. So I had to talk to people and try to figure out, all right, you know, talk to younger people like my kids and how do I do this, you know? Um, so I'm going to start with, like, dropping a few singles. Right on. And then kind of push out the rest of them. Yeah, that's and, a, that's called a cascade release. Yeah. So you just have them all in your, your, in your cockpit loaded up. Yeah. And then boom, and a few weeks later, boom, and then boom, and then the whole thing. Yeah, and yeah. that's that's kind of the approach I want to take. Plus, it you know it kind of takes the pressure off of having to to deliver a whole bunch of material up front, so we're able to kind of really craft these things and make them what we want them to be. And it doesn't get lost in translation. That's the other problem. When you release a whole bunch of stuff, if you have ten great songs mm -hmm. and one of them's great but not as good as the other nine, it gets forgotten about. Where if it came out by itself. It has its own legs, its own yeah. entity, its own presence, and and sometimes that helps that song get some more lift. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, there's been a lot of a lot of time since the 1970s when they would drop <laughs> albums, and you'd yeah. pay DJs to play, you know, two or three tracks you'd on bribe, one side, and, and blah blah blah. I mean, it was yeah. it was a way to do it. But do you think you're going to come out in a vinyl? You want to do that? You know, I, I talk with a couple of friends of mine. Um, so to, to to kind of back up for a sec, the um, the first song is is going to drop, and uh, that we're going to do that June thirtieth. Oh, great! And it'll be available on on all the streaming platforms. Okay, we'll um, get it up. And it's a song called California Rain. Um, and then uh, probably a month or so after that, I'm going to throw a uh, Young and Love in there. Okay. So those those will be the first two. Are you playing these around town now? Yeah, yeah, I'll play them on the the solo shows and and kind of slowly putting them out there. And I'm going to start releasing some like some teaser material material and stuff like that. We'll try to yeah. uh, uh, we'll we'll do all we can to get them out here. there, brother. We yeah. right we want to yeah. see you succeed as well. So right uh, do do send us the link so we can put it in here on this. Yeah, yeah, I've got yeah. a a little uh, thing that because we know uh, everyone can find everything at davidmarshallcasey.com. Yeah. But we also want to get that link so people can download it. Boom. Yeah. And listen. Listen, yeah. listen on the go. Listen wherever they listen. Right on. Uh, let's see. I'm up here. I've got um, future plans. Future plans for David Marshall. What, what do you got on the horizon? Uh, future plans for David Marshall. Um, sounds like a talk show. It is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, other than, you know, releasing the tunes and, and uh, slowly working on that, I want to begin to really search for outlets to strategically place original material um, as far as, you know, shows and things that are going on, show openers, things like that. Get yourself in the path. Um, yeah, I do have um, access to full band, and and that's something that's... Um, so when you do a full band, how many people is that? Uh, usually it's four or five, depending oh, okay. on what we're doing. Um but I'm I'm kind of assembling that now, um, and it's pretty much there. But we've got a couple other details to work out on it, holes to fill in. It's Kansas yeah. City music. I mean, how many times have we heard that? Right. <laughs> you, it, it is so weird. So many people we've met and talked to. Um, it's almost like a club. You know how there's AA, there's NA, there's whatever. You know, it's like musicians are their own club. They're all sitting around in circles. Let's do music. Let's save each other. I can do. I you play, I play. Let's get yeah. together. So it's been kind of great seeing. And, and it seems like everyone's doing we can that. And sober it's all, up together. Well, it, 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 it's there's two different takes on that though. There's either people that are doing that because they enjoy playing so uh, such a variety. Mm -hmm. And then there are some people that are like, I don't want to play, you know, just my own thing. I want to be someone else's component, yeah, you know, too, instead of having to be the whole ringleader. And that's what you're getting ready to be, too, a ringleader, because, yeah. as you know that. Yeah, and I've been in that situation before, so that's that's easy for it's me. It's cascaded up now. Baby. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. it. I own a couple of businesses, and for me, that's a piece of cake. So. Let, let's talk about that. What, what's your day job? What's uh, what, what, is, what do you do for, for uh, paying the bills before you get to the guitar? Um, well, fortunately, these days, playing the guitar is taking care of that. Awesome. Um, but Sweet. I don't sit still well. I, okay. I have to constantly be moving and doing something. So I had this spare time during the week. So um, I actually started a Mo service. So I Oh, wonderful. I, yeah. Uh, so I'm, I sub for a larger company called Heinen. 
and uh, uh, a, a lawn care mow service. Oh, mow, yeah, yeah, mow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lawn, yeah. I got you. And, Man, uh, days like today would have been. That's a great day to be out like today. Yeah, yeah it was a beautiful day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, so, I, yeah, I had a friend of mine that uh, our, our daughters went to school together, and uh, he approached me, and you know, we talked a little bit, and he asked me what I was looking for, and he said, "Well, I can sub you some work." So that's kind of how the mow service started. Cool. And, and you know, it, it keeps him busy for a couple of days a week, and sure. And uh, I've had the opportunity to hire some of my friends in the music world and have them work with me, and you know, right on. So it's it's cool, yeah. What what other projects are you doing to keep yourself busy? I know. So you're working, you're doing the music, mm. y- y- you have a family. You, you... I do. Yeah, um, my kids are mostly grown up. I've got my son, who's actually he's got music out there too, and uh, he does uh, a little bit of production and writing, and he's got some good stuff. Wow. Cool. Cool. What's his name? Uh, his name's Coda. Coda Coda does he got a band name? Uh, he's uh, on Spotify, and uh, he's just Coda K. But Co- on, Coda face- K. Coda on Facebook, K. it's Coda Zugelder, yeah. Is he playing any gigs here in town? Um, not at the moment. He's looking to move in that direction. How old of a guy is he? Uh, 22. So he's old enough to get in the clubs. Yeah. He's old enough to couch surf and play in clubs for the next five years. <laughs> yep, yep. Join we're, the uh, Navy. We're, we're uh, working on destroying his life right now. So. Oh, that's good. Uh, yes. That's good. Yes. And then uh, Another one a, bites the dust. My daughter, she's freshman in high school. Well, she'll be, well, she'll be a sophomore. Okay. So she's kind of got Musically inclined? Uh, she plays guitar a little bit. Wow, that's but, freaking uh, awesome, man. Yeah. Uh, how about the wife? Is she a musical person? Uh, no, she plays the radio. And plays the radio. Uh, <laughs> waiting, waiting for him to get on it. That's <laughs> she right. She waits. Yeah, yeah. She's, uh, she's a wonderful woman. She uh, works at home, and she works for uh, United Healthcare and Awesome. Takes care of people. She's a nurse. And you got to have a good family when you have a family to let you do your music. It's not always so easy. Some people are like, what are you doing? You're not spending time with me. But <laughs> you know what you're doing out there with the music, in, in a lot of ways, is, is, is uh, healing and and soothing to your soul but you're probably bringing some soothing to someone else's soul so they're 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 letting you tend to yourself and others which is really a great thing when family lets you do that so yeah yeah and it's it's um been a lot of fun for me i've been doing it for so long that um i've been fortunate enough to be able to kind of develop a business out of it and it's it takes good care of me and it pays the bills and we got a good balance you know i'm um i work enough that I take care of things, but also I get enough time off to be able to hang with family. And keep, now, it, keep that the way it is right there. Yeah. Family, you you, you bounced around first. with some genres, but what is the ultimate product that you're trying to make? Is it is it going to be five songs, ten songs? Is it going to be a combination of ballads and, and some 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 popular song? I mean, what what is your ultimate goal with this product? And do you have a name for it yet? Um, you know, I don't have a, a title for the album yet that's something that we're kind of developing and um but uh should we do a raffle the yeah (laughs) might as well name the album you know that's actually not a bad idea we'll help we can help you have the fans name yeah there we go we're on something (laughs) um so probably you know eight or ten tracks okay and um you know there's some there's some good ballads on there there's some good songs about family there's some good barn burners on there about being on the road and all the fun things we did and probably shouldn't have done you know, there's always those. And yeah, that's what sells. Before the internet. <laughs> right. Well, keep family there. Keep in mind, you know, uh, you're where you're at because your family and your friends, Absolutely. right? They're going to be the ones that are going to promote you the first and and, and help that get out there. A um, couple of things we'll touch base on here. Um, again, David Marshall is our guest today. And David Marshall is at... David Marshall. David KC. Marshall, KC.com. Um, you can also find David on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, are those underscores, David underscore Marshall underscore KC? Uh, those are, uh, I think the Insta is David Marshall KC. Okay. And then the uh, Facebook is David Marshall. Okay. And, we'll and be- as far as the uh, website goes, there's, um, video, there's a YouTube that I got to see uh, a couple of that, um, in fact, Teresa sent those to me. Mm-hmm. Um, are you, are you doing the, the website yourself or you have somebody doing it for you? Uh, at the moment, I'm kind of juggling it myself, but I'm going to turn it over to 
someone because that's that a lot of work to keep yeah, all that that's, up. That's exactly what I do with my It's a website. constant. <laughs> yeah, I got to go <laughs> home and actually update some calendar dates Yeah, as that's... soon as we're done. <laughs> I mean, it's tough, man, just yeah. getting posts out on Facebook. I mean, we've yeah. got so much content that we get for Kansas City Limits. It's just, I mean, and sometimes you'll forget and you've got photos and videos from one deal and you forgot this one. And you you <laughs> got to get them out as they happen because if not, it's like uh, the content's it, lost. It's absolutely right. Yeah, actually on the uh, – I have to look at my calendar here and see when we did this. On the uh, – looks like Wednesday the 28th. Um, I'm actually going to have uh, the guys at Storylight, that's uh, Brett Bork, and they're going to put together a promo video for me. So we're going to shoot it at um, the, uh, what is the name of that place? Uh, Tequila Flats. Okay, cool. And uh, we're going to do just, you know, like an open, it's, anybody can come. That's okay. the outdoor um, of Guitars and Cadillacs, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yep. uh, we're going to shoot a little promo for me there. Yeah, nice. And uh, so everybody's welcome to join. Are you playing on the patio for that gig? or? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, And, and, and that's uh, the 28th? Yeah. June 28th. That's a Wednesday, and it'll be a, a lot of fun. We're doing that. Um, I think that's a 6 o'clock thing. Okay. Yeah, I like that cool. little patio deal. Yeah. Well, you know, it's so crazy that, you know, video is where it's at. I mean, people are clicking on video content more than any other content. Where do you get your uh, inspiration for your writing? These songs you're getting ready to put together. What's uh, the the background? Do the, do do words just come to you, or melodies just come to you, or is just some experience? And you're like, I'm going to put that in a song. Like, how do you how do you convey that? Um, so I'm a I'm a kind of a hook writer. Okay. So I'm, usually things for me start with a some sort of hook and idea, like a melody and a hook. Okay. Um, it usually is built around some sort of experience I had. Um, you know, there's always the broken heart songs and, oh, the, yeah. you know, the, the weird, uh, something crazy happened and you just got to believe I'm alive, build a song. Woke up it, on the know. semen at the jail. Right. right. Oh, wait a minute. I'm <laughs> super glued to a door. All <laughs> yeah. those songs. Uh, and then, you know, the family songs, I've got, um, one that'll be put out at some point called, uh, all right with me. And it was a conversation I had with my dad. Okay. And then, uh, one called, uh, 222 and, that one's a special one to my wife because it, uh, it was about a – they um, used to go to church with their grandma at this little church outside of town, a little Baptist church, and it was all wood, clapboard kind of thing. Just – it was built a long time ago, and um, they didn't they didn't play instruments. They didn't have an organ, and they just had a harmonica, and they'd hit a note, and that got the choir going. But the way they would choose their songs is they would shout out numbers in from the hymnal. And uh, 222 was her favorite one. Oh, very so, wow. and That's then, awesome. So there's a, a nice little story that we built around that, and uh, that'll go. be on that album. So You know, not, not take anything away from it because that's beautiful. I thought it maybe was about a time you called her at 222 in the morning. That's yeah. Yeah. that's happened before. Yeah, <laughs> uh, 222 booty call. I, I know that one. Well, that's great. <laughs> We've I, diminished that whole story. I know. I didn't mean to. Now, you wrote for some other folks, too, like you were saying earlier. Mm-hmm. So how many songs do you think you've wrote for others before getting to this point? Oh, my gosh. Um Back in the County Road days, I mean, uh, we had two albums. There was you know, 10 or 12 songs on those. And then uh, when I wrote with Scott, we had, I think, um, I don't know, there was five or six of mine on there. Wonderful. And then a couple other one-offs here and there. So um, I have, you know, probably 100 a, a or more songs, but as far as ones that have been out there, maybe, you know, 25, 30. It's hard to pick wow. the right one. Yeah. Do you follow? Do you track them? Any of them get in play like Robert does? Uh, then he'll take a screenshot of it on Spotify <laughs> and share it with the just world. Just to prove I'm still alive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> that he did something. No, actually, actually, I haven't really kept up with the ones from the past. They just kind of are out there and, yeah, you know, they do what they do. And Any video to those audios? Um, yeah, we did. Uh, in the County Road days, we did um, a video for a song called Drink You Couldn't Handle. And that one's out there. Um, and then when, uh, I left the group to go on to other things, um, Dust took one of the songs and he made a video for it. It's called, uh, country's what you got. And it's out there. Cool. Um, yeah. and as far as I know, those are the only two that had videos with them. I plan on doing some videos for, for the ones that are coming up. Right on. 
Mm-hmm. And back to uh, davidmarshallkc.com. You have uh, promotional materials available. You got shirts, hats. What do you got that um, people can find? All that stuff's in the works. So probably. Yeah. Well, you put it on your list, so I wanted to cover it in case oh, yeah, there was something absolutely. cool on yeah. there. So all the keychains, uh, coolie cups. Everything. I'll, I'll put my name on whatever you want me to put my name on. <laughs> the David Marshall board game. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, question on um, the releases. When you get a, a, um, a song that you've poured your heart, your soul, you've got this thing, and it, it's meaningful to you, and you get it out there, and it's what you believe to be good, who is the first person – that you contact to listen to that song? Um, aside from my wife, uh, she's usually the one that gets to hear all that. And she hears it from conception to, you know, the end. From the uh, shower to the studio. Pretty much. Uh, but uh, my best friend, actually, Wade Buchanan, he's been with me for years and years and all the uh, – bands we've played with and all the things will he be and, honest wade did you hear that yeah. you're his best friend <laughs> yeah yeah uh, the rest of you guys are yeah. second he'll tell you if it's shit <laughs> yeah. don't yeah. put that out right yeah he, he's the one that's the most brutally honest with me and good you, you gotta, gotta have, have those that. people that's right yeah you can't be drinking your own kool-aid yeah someone needs to tell you spit it out that's that's tastes terrible yeah. indeed yeah the uh Robert kind of touched on, you know, some of the original songs. Um, and you'd mentioned you had two albums with County Road 5. Mm-hmm. The, the entire band played for how long? Um, I don't know. How long were we together? Good gosh. Um, the, I think we were 2003 to 2009. So for the original a, a while. Okay. Yeah. And are those albums available? Do you still have those? Are they out in um, the world? I don't know, honestly. I haven't checked on that in, in a while. We'll I think have our they, checkers find that. Yeah, I think they might still be our out detectives. there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm curious. I want to hear it. I haven't. Uh, Andy, who is our uh, host for these shows here, he had good things to say about them. So, At Soundworks uh, Studios. Yeah, he had, <laughs> well, I, I, <laughs> there's, I, there's your plug, Andy. You can leave the money right there on the patio. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I do have them. I can send them yeah, to you no. guys. and. Um, uh, yeah, I'd love to. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Is there any kind of music you've never done that you think you'll do someday? Um, no, <laughs> no. You 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 you've touched everything you're going to touch. I think uh, so. Yeah. Yeah. This uh, is your this is your this is your path. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've, so uh, we don't or we can't expect a David Marshall rap album. No, or a or a David Marshall uh, Nine Inch Nails. Yeah, you know, hey, I a, like some and I am. <laughs> I don't know. There might be a caveat here and there. You know, yeah. A little special We're guest giving you appearance. shit. I mean, we don't care. We I do want rap. to play you, dude. I do um, okay. So we, we've got enough time, I think. Everybody's kind of getting familiar with you as far as your background. We want to be able to promote that and get you out in the world. Um, we're glad that you're you know, now part of Kansas City Limits and uh, – um, with that, uh, I know you brought your guitar with you and we'd like to, can you play a sample? What's going to be on the upcoming album? Absolutely. Get a little taste. That's Absolutely. right. All right. What's the song called? Uh, so this is uh California rain. This is the one that's, um, coming out first. Uh, so yeah, this is California rain and, and it's, um, uh, just a song about, uh, finding someone a little too late and, uh, you realize it just has to be what it is. Um, and it actually was originally Kansas Rain, but uh, we changed it just because when I wrote it, I kind of visioned this, you know, Sonoma kind of out there in the wine country kind of thing. Right. And uh, so this one's California Rain. Rain falling down, long way from home. Gonna fall in love with me He said no I won't Here we are Years too late We found love going wild A thousand miles away 
And everything felt so right Our first kiss, pale moonlight On the tailgate of my old Chevy Shine The way your green eyes shine The way they laugh The way they cry And I often think about those days In the California rain Sun shining down the highway home. Don't leave us behind, girl. You know I won't. And even though it's the wrong thing to do, I'm gonna turn this truck around. I'm coming back to you. Everything felt so right My first kiss, pale moonlight On the tailgate of my own Chevy Shine The way your green eyes shine The way they laugh, the way they cry And I often think about those days In the California rain Those sleepless nights She's on my mind again Where is she now? What could it be? Well, it took some time To make her see Better off Just a memory And everything felt so right Our first kiss, pale moonlight On the tailgate of my old Chevy Shine The way your green eyes shine The way they laugh, the way they cry And I often think about those days In the California rain The California rain Wow. All right. Standing. Thank and you. what is the name of that song? It's uh, California Rain. California Rain. You By got that, David Andy? Marshall. We'll plug that for sure. The That'll David be on Marshall the, Band. The album that will title for you here <laughs> Casey. You know, well you got to be excited you know I, I can see when you're playing you know they they always say you know before you take a phone call be smiling you know and the same thing with your performing you know when when you're playing something you can feel if you're into it and you're into it that's great yeah yeah it's uh every one of these songs well and it helps that you're good so yeah, well thank you, you got that every one of these songs comes from something that happened to me or happened to somebody I know and I feel every one of them can That's, we hear another? Uh, yeah, sure. We can. Uh, this is uh, the second one that'll be coming out. It's. Um, yeah, I think I'm good. Uh, so this one uh, it's called "Young and in Love," and it's just kind of one of those songs about, um, you know, first love. It's you have your first love, and your first love never really leaves your brain it's something that's always there it's either sweet or a train wreck yeah <laughs> or a little bit of both yeah 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 <laughs> mine's probably a little bit of both <laughs> well a few weeks back i found a polaroid snap of a high school prom made me laugh took me back to a night I'll never forget Bell and the ball next to me and my tux naive kids young and in love a summer's eve of life we couldn't see yet strawberry wine 
Dad's old born we sneak out the back Hit gas and explore Scratchy FM barking our favorite songs Gravel road, full buck moon All the firefly dances we're gone too soon In each other's arms till the sun can Stopped at a light, Route 58, glanced to the right, a red Chevrolet, deep blue eyes, dark hair stirred my mind. Fork in the road, we drifted apart, but the echo of you still rings in my heart. A classic song on cassette, I can't be one. Strawberry wine. Dad's old born, we'd sneak out the back and guess and explore Scratchy FM barking our favorite songs Gravel road, pull buck moon, all the firefly dances we're gone too soon In each other's arms till the sun came Dad's old born, we'd sneak out the back, hit the gas and explore. Scratchy FM barking our favorite song. Pour a run, pour a blood moon, all the firefly dances we go to see. In each other's arms till the sun came. I'm going to give you a huge compliment on that. I don't know. You're probably not old enough nice. to know, but uh, that sounds a lot like a Jerry Jeff Walker tune right there. Yeah. Do you know who that is? Yeah, I do. So, you know, he wrote a lot of Jimmy Buffett's first tunes, and uh, that goes down. Another good friend of ours who plays a guitar here in Kansas City, uh, writes a lot of music, Jimmy Nace. Yeah. Also in that same toolage of Jerry Jeff Walker. Yeah. That right, right there, friend, is a good song. Well, thank you very much. Very um, good. Mike and I wrote that together. It was one that I had um, kind of an original version of it, and I sent it to him, and I told him, I said, you know, I'm, I've hit a wall on this one, right. and I've kind of reworked it and reworked it, but I'm just not liking what it, what's happening here. Get some uh, other eyes on it. So he, he uh, just kind of took it, and I said, just do whatever <laughs> and you can change words, you can change music, you Here's can change, the baton. just do what you want to do. And uh, that was the result. So it's outstanding. Yeah. We can hardly wait to hear that one on the, on the new album. Well, thank you. All right. I think we're about finished. Robert, I'm going to go through uh, a couple things here real, real quick. Again, we're with David Marshall today here at Kansas City Limits Radio. And uh, this uh, podcast will air well, as soon as Andy gets it ready to go. We'll, we'll make that available to you. Um, but wanted to go over some gigs that you may have coming up. Um, when's your next gig? Yeah. What, what's a that week look from like? now, so to speak. Um, so every Tuesday at Veritas out there in Prairie Fire, um, five 30 to eight 30. Every Tuesday through every the Tuesday. summer. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, and that's your solo project. You're there by yourself solo. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, I've got, uh, you know, let me look real quick. I'll have to please. There's a lot of things coming up. Um, I've got um, every first weekend um, from now till October out in Herman at 10 Mill. And, um, and if yeah, people want to book you, they can inquire about that on your website. Yeah, they can uh, inquire on the website. They can hit me up on uh, on the uh, Instagram. They can connect Contact with me on Teresa Facebook. Deaton. Yeah, you can connect with <laughs> Teresa. That's right. There's the a, agent. I'm out there everywhere. Teresa Deaton. So, yeah. <laughs> 
I still uh, love that. And let me ask you this. Do you do, do you do, uh, like, I know you're getting ready to do your originals, mm-hmm. but do you do a combination of your originals and cover songs when you're out doing your one-man band thing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and there's, um, so with the one-man band thing, the this is really slow. Little Who do you like to that. cover? Um, I cover a little bit of everything. Like, I've got some... Um, some Michael Jackson, some Steve Winwood. I've got some Will Smith. Some <laughs> uh, I got some Dre. A spectrum. I got some Dre in there. I've got uh, <laughs> some Eagles. You know, I do a little version of Hotel California and kind of loop it and wow. have some do fun you do with Grateful it. Grateful Dead. Um, I haven't had any Grateful Dead on my <laughs> list, terrible. but I need to because I've had I asked that to everybody it, so. or tell them to play. Grateful <laughs> tell us Dead. your top ten psychedelic favorite bands. <laughs> I want to actually besides add, the Grateful uh, Dead, Fire besides on the Mountains, the one I want to add. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I would suggest that or Franklin's Tower with your guitar work. Right on. That would be two I would suggest if you want to play some but, old Jerry tunes. That's uh, yeah, it's 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 a good time. There's uh, a lot of fun things that happen at the solo show and. You know, everybody's always welcome to throw throw me curveballs. I like those. Any events, uh, festival type events coming up? You're you're part of? Um, I'd have to look at my site because I put all that stuff on there. I play at uh, Lowe's Hotel quite a bit. Um, they've got the Horse Feather Social, and those are usually like Thursday or Friday. Hmm. And um, that's a it's a really neat little location. Yeah, it's, I'm uh, familiar with Lowe's. I'm not familiar with that festival, though. Uh, it's not a festival. It's just a just an event. Yeah, just a yeah. gig that I do. It's uh, Horse well, Feather Social is a um, um, their seventh uh, level or their seventh floor bar up there. Oh, oh very cool. Gotcha. Um, but uh, other than that, heck, I don't know. I don't think I have any festival type stuff coming up. But that changes pretty much week yeah. to week because Teresa's always out there pounding the pavement for me. And um, every now and again, you know, I'll play at the OP Farmers Market and. Right that's on. A, that's a fun little thing happening. We'll keep him on the uh, list for Briarfest 9. Yes, yes. We'll be getting started in October. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right on. The, the festival's 8th and 9th of September. We'll be starting on next year's on the 10th, I guess. Yeah. You right should, on. It takes that much time. Yeah. So. yeah. And anybody out there in listener land, you know, if you if you need a guy, let me know. I'm always available and always willing. And David Marshall. David Marshall, KC.com. David, thanks so much for coming to the studio and being on Kansas City Limits Radio. Yeah, thanks for and, having uh, me. It was fun. Remember, be good to yourself. Be good to others. If you know a musician, make sure you tell them you affected their life in a great way. Yeah, that's I'll all I got. That. Amen. Absolutely. Absolutely.